What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I finally got a chance to check out Spiral. This was my actual first movie I got to see in the movie theaters since before the pandemic happened. Like, I haven't been to the movie theater theaters, obviously, because of that. So, it was cool to finally go back and watch a movie on the big screen with the surround sound. I, I, I did enjoy that experience once again. Um, but yeah finally got a chance to see spiral i've been trying to actually watch it since it came out last weekend but i've been busy so much with the j cole album dropping and all other content i've been trying to push out on the in the clutch page and on on this uh on my personal page so i've just been very busy but i definitely wanted to check this out for you guys and um my honest opinions on it it was enjoyable for me personally i i, I enjoyed it for what it was um do i think it was a necessary sequel not so much but i do think it's better than the uh the saw reboot if you guys remember that a few years back after saw had kind of ended um with saw 3d which was a horrible movie they brought it back with a like a soft reboot it took place in the same universe and they kind of did some retconning like storytelling with the the twist at the end of that movie that i didn't really enjoy it as much the traps were okay but i didn't really enjoy the retcon that the retcon that they created with the ending of that movie so i wasn't really sure or maybe even looking forward to uh checking out a sequel from that movie but in this one i think this is a proper like i guess you could say sequel or predecessor to the original saw franchise in my opinion it's more of a spin-off that's really what it is it's more of a spin-off it takes place in the same universe that jigsaw and all the traps and killings took place in but it's more of a spin-off and i think if this movie originally came out the pr prior to the movie that came out a few years ago of saw uh i think a lot of people would have been more receptive and more accepting of it but overall i enjoyed it chris rock as the main protagonist uh detective zeke banks he, i enjoyed his character i like his motivation he was a, a cool protagonist you know what i'm saying um i like the the fact that they were going with the storyline of a corrupt police system or corrupt police department and he was one of the good cops you know i don't want to spoil it too much but basically it causes some friction between him and pretty much all the other detectives in the department so i like that i like that they they kind of brought that up and i i really wish you know we could have spent a little bit more time on just that storyline alone because that was actually pretty interesting you also have samuel L. jackson in this movie now he's in it but he's not in it as much uh he plays uh, marcus banks uh zeke's uh, zeke banks father uh chris rock's father in this movie and he's in the film but not a lot uh i, I want to say like he has a few couple of scenes here and there a few flashback scenes it's samuel L. jackson like he he he's more of a comic relief at times even though chris rock uh his character is a comic relief at times like he, they they both filled that role but if you've seen one sam jack movie you've seen them all the scenes that he was in all I can see is just Sam Jack being Sam Jack, but it was still enjoyable. You still like this presence on the screen. I like that it was kind of a, a cat and mouse game, kind of like if you guys remember from the original Saw, um, Danny uh, Glover's character was trying to figure out what was going on in that game, and that was more of a cat and mouse situation. They end up getting some intel on someone being captured. They get to the crime scene, and the person's body's all mangled up but they're trying to figure out who it is they're trying to catch up to the killer so i enjoyed that segment of it um basically this is someone that is inspired by jigsaw even his voice sounds kind of weird like i like how jigsaw voice was like the way he fixed it up and set it up it sound menacing when he was talking to you through the tv screen with the puppet it sound menacing this one sounds like some kid just got a voice changer and just started talking trash before you die like it was one of those type of things i, I didn't really buy into the voice changing of it but basically that's what it is it's a jigsaw copycat and he's going after you know corrupt 
individuals or whatnot corrupt cops so i thought it, it could have been better they could have executed that better with the voice changer but nevertheless people want to know are the traps good yes they are yes they are these traps were i ain't gonna lie to you pretty brutal i've seen all the saw movies i believe i've seen costa one and two i've seen my my fair share of the the torture john a lot of the saw movies always made me cringe and and this one was right up there like it was there was some moments in here where i'm 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 looking away uh i'm cringing really hard because it's 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 brutal things that these people are actually going through and a lot of these traps i'm gonna be honest with you no one's really getting out of them i'm just keeping it a stack a lot of these traps didn't seem like I mean, a person could have actually gotten out of the trap. The amount of pain and amount of damage they would have to do to themselves if they got out of the trap, they would forever be changed. It wasn't like they could walk away from this with a couple of bruises and, you know, uh, scratches and breaks maybe here and there. No, they would never be the same if they were to survive these type of traps. So i did like the brutalness of the traps they were very creative and you can tell they put budget uh, uh, a nice little budget behind it and i like the soundtrack uh that was playing throughout the uh um the movie i think this is the first saw movie where the soundtrack is like nothing but like licensed music so i, I was not you know expecting that i know 21 savage is did you know a little collaboration with them with his song spiral but it was cool to see like they had licensed music within the movie i think that's the first time we've seen that in a saw movie so um the twist at the end you can kind of see it coming like you can kind of tell if you if you've seen these type of movies you've seen this plot before you i don't want to like i said i'm not going to say anything i'm going to say that for my spoiler review but you've seen this plot before and you can kind of you can kind of see where they're going with this and i i was piecing it together fairly quickly faster than i probably should have only because they didn't really do a good job of hiding it the twist was serviceable at best and the way it ends it does look like it's about to set up for a, a sequel potentially depending on how well it does in the movie theaters so we will see and of course you can't go wrong with the classic jigsaw theme music playing at the end i thought that was beautiful i love hearing that theme song it just gives me chills knowing that i'm watching a saw movie back at the theaters again when you hear that at the end it, it kind of does bring back that nostalgia of like damn you know what I'm saying? i've you know once you heard this theme that's when you're about to find out the big reveal or whatever so me personally I enjoyed it for what it was. I, I like it better than the previous Saw movie that came out a few years back. And I think uh, depending on if it makes the money that they're somewhat trying to get back from it, I could see maybe a sequel being created from this. But it was serviceable. I think it's, if you're a fan of Saw, I think you will enjoy this for what it is. Granted, there's not that many traps in the movie, but when they do get to the traps, it's pretty intense. And I think you guys will most likely just enjoy it if you enjoyed any of the other Saw movies. So comment down below. Let me know if you've seen Spiral and what's your thoughts on it. Just please, no spoilers in the comment section, not on this video. What you thought about it? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was a waste of time? Did you think it was uh, it was a nice spinoff? And are you looking forward to a uh, sequel if they do make one? But I appreciate all your love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace